Hello, my name is Jesse Walter, and this is another Unreal Development Kit tutorial. Today we're going to discuss the Terrain Editor. So the first thing I want to do is get rid of these windows, and since I will not be using all of these objects in the default scene, I'm going to eliminate the light mass importance volume, as well as these defaulted cubes and boxes. I'm going to leave the character here, I'm going to leave uh, the, the lighting as well. So the next thing I would want to do is click on Tools, New Terrain. This provides us with the New Terrain Wizard. Uh, then I want to put my uh, patches, and I'm going to do 64 by 64, and it is important to, to, or at least a good idea, to keep these at power of 2, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, and so forth. Kind of like you're upgrading RAM. I'm going to click Next and we're going to ignore this layer of setup. We don't need to worry about that right now. We'll click Finish and here is our new terrain. And as you see the new terrain has the default material applied to it. And we're going to change that uh, in this video. So we're ready to start editing this terrain. Uh, so to do that we want to click from the uh, modes tool on the left toolbar there terrain editing mode this presents us with the unreal terrain editing window this allows us to change the shape and the materials of the terrain you gotta keep in mind if you do not have a dominant light source you will not see the shapes of the terrain that you're sculpting very well so the tools you'll be using the most uh, will definitely be the brush size and types. Uh, so here's your brush types and this is how you adjust your brush settings. So the fall off is this outer uh, ring up here. If I increase that, you'll see that that outer ring is a lot bigger. Let's move this to the side. Uh, if I change the inner radius, we'll see that inner circle growing as well. The strength is going to tell uh, is basically going to tell the um, brush how strong to apply the changes. Uh, if we use the this diffused brush here, it's going to kind of taper off a little nicer and easier on the edges, and increase that brush size. Uh, this is a much more rigid uh, brush, and it's going to have a much harder edge to it. Also, we'll be using, uh, well, in this case, we won't be using Paint Vertex, but I'm going to go over some of these icons here. Um, we will definitely test out the Flatten, Smooth, Average, uh, Noise. I don't use that very often, but you can use it. Uh, and anytime I do use Noise, I usually go back over and smooth it just slightly. Uh, and then we have the Visibility, Texture Panning, Texture Rotation, Texture Scale, um, split the X, split the Y, merge, and then flip uh, the orientation of the textures or materials. When we add our materials, they'll be added uh, in this lower part of the pane here. Another thing to check out is the wireframe. Now this can, um, right here, the wireframe, it can slow down s system sometimes. Um, my system's pretty decent, so um, I don't think I'm going to have any problems with it. I like using this because it kind of tells me where the vertexes are um, when I'm adjusting and smoothing things out. So we'll get started with uh, creating our height map here. So what we're going to do is we're going to create some mountains or some hills. So you pick your brush. I'm going to go with this brush here. I'm going to adjust my radius. Uh, and, our, and the fall off. That might be good. And then I'm going to find the area that I want to start painting, hold control, then click, left click, and hold down and drag the mouse. And as we see, the terrain is growing. Let go. Use my WASD uh, keys to kind of maneuver my camera. 
and continue to have fun with the terrain editor. It is that easy. Now we can see how this fall off is working. See on the edges how it's uh, uh, tapering off just a little bit, but we still have these sharp edges down here. We're going to have to smooth that out. So we're going to use a smooth tool next. Here, here, and I'm going to adjust my brush just a little bit. And, and just like you're painting, you're going to hold control and then um, left click, and we see that smooth right out. See that? to this other side. See if we didn't have that light source uh, already in place we wouldn't see these shadows very well. Which actually gives more definition to the depth of it. Now if you don't smooth these vertexes out and it really kind of depends on how it's going to appear how far off in the background uh, that'll be from the camera's view but if you're a player playing or a character playing within the terrain and you have these those sharp edges that we just smoothed out you can actually get caught in these little vertexes see where that little dot is snapping to uh, yeah your character or your vehicle whatever you're you're playing can get stuck in those vertexes that's why it's important to kind of smooth those out whenever you can and whenever it's necessary so let's uh, play with another tool here. So we have average. Well, what does average do? Average is going to give you the, the average height between vertexes that you're clicking on. So see, it pulled from the top vertex height from the bottom vertex height and then averaged it out and gave us this average. But notice how it gave us these real sharp edges here. Well, we need to clean those up too. So we're going to go back to smooth. Let's just smooth that out and we got this nice gradual climb up there. So then we also have the um, noise. If we take the noise that will also kind of give us some mountainous uh, and you'll see why I prefer just to kind of paint my own mountains versus just use versus use the noise. So if I hold control down and we see it's really giving us a lot of harsh edges there. Now we can smooth all that out if we want, which I'm going to do. Another tool is the uh, flatten. This will give us our plateaus. Just adjust in my brush, and there's a nice plateau. But we have hard edges again. Smooth those out. I'm going to decrease the strength. I want to keep some of that integrity of the top of the plateau. That's why I'm not going super strong. I just want to hit the base down here, clean up those edges. So now we want to add some materials to our terrain. So the first material we add is going to be the base layer or default uh, material for the terrain. So we need to pull up while the terrain editor is still open. We can pull up the um, content browser. Make sure we have a package saved. And let's see what we call this demo terrain. And I'm 
going to fully load everything and we're going to sort through the content browser by materials and we're just going to grab something whatever catches our eye here sand how about some sand we'll take the sand and then in the unreal terrain editor right click right underneath the height map click new terrain setup layer from material auto create and that is going to give us our base layer so we have a base layer which is sand I'm just going to move this window off to the side for now so here is our bottom material kind of plain so we're going to add a new material we're going to follow the same steps again I've got the content browser and I'm pulling from another package here uh, which is going to bring it into our package this material once we add it to the uh, terrain editor so I'm going to grab this M Groundmaster 01. It's a really nice looking uh, piece of texture that's included with uh, UDK. So right click, New Terrains Layer from Material, Auto Create. That's going to give us another layer. And let's grab one more. And you can have multiple layers, depends on how your system can handle it. Uh, sort this back through for materials. And we'll probably just pick some concrete or something crazy like that. How about this castle rock tile? Not sure how that's going to look. It'll be a little crazy looking, but you'll get the point. Follow the same steps again, and now we'll have three layers of materials. I'm going to close that, and now we are ready. I'm going to lock this height map in, and I'm going to select. Maybe I shouldn't. There we go don't lock it sorry so I'm going to select this uh, second material and we're going to make sure we're on the paint and we're just going to paint this right on hold control left click and drag oh nice and cool just like magic if you got some good rock music or some hip-hop or whatever you listen to this is some fun stuff to do while you're listening to music So what I've done is I've adjusted my brush size. I wanted to demo um, the fall off. You can get a, a much better idea when you're watching the material go down. Um, see how large this fall off radius is from the center. And you'll just see how nice it blends everything in. So I hold control, left click, and voila. Now we can also change the strength of that brush and that's also going to give us a little bit of difference when we click. Not as strong. See how light that is? Yeah, yeah uh huh? And that's so sandy now, is it? Well, let's play with the other material. Oh, that looks horrible, but you get the point. We've got some rock there. That might be best up top, like that. And that pattern is really going to show up in this. That is not as good of a texture as I would have liked, but we're just trying to demo here. some rock up here, rock up here, let's say um, you want to reduce one of those layers, well, what you're going to do is hold control, select the layer that you want to reduce um, and then instead of left clicking you're going to right click and drag now we 
we're showing more sand, but we got this this castle rock layer still showing up. So if we go back down here, keep in mind you're in layers, so you may have to do this with multiple layers in order to get more of that sand, that bottom layer to show up. And that's pretty much the terrain editor. Um, I think there might be... So the next thing we're going to do is add decoration. Uh, in this case we're going to add trees. So I'm going to turn the wireframe off. Select a tree or an, any static mesh really can work. Any type of doodad that you want to add. Make sure that that package is fully loaded before you add that static mesh. Then right click back in your terrain editor and add new deco layer. So we're going to call this uh, I guess trees or tree layer. Click OK. There we go. I'm going to close out the content browser and on the tree layer I'm going to right click on the tree layer then add selected decoration and we saw this little icon pop up down here now there's one thing you're going to have to do once you've added your decoration we'll click on the properties of our terrain and under deco layers just drill down so you see the density Yeah, there it is, density. Density is set to zero. Uh, let's make that a one. Oh, and I almost forgot we need to set the scale. So let's go minimum scale, let's go 0.5. We'll have small trees and we'll do a two. It should be twice the size. And then adjust the brush. Make sure we're in paint mode. Strength. Um, radius. Increase the fall off. And control paint. Easy peasy. Uh, that scale is pretty way off, but you get the point. We now have trees. I'm going to close this window down. And we're just going to test it out right from here. Play. Uh, we'll, we can do it from here. And there we go. Just that easy. Of course, all the lighting and everything needs to be rebaked. But that is the terrain editor. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. Have a good day.